Is it possible to produce fertilizer from animal bones? And what are the benefits for agriculture and the environment? At this test plant in Hungary, an unusual experiment is underway. Scientists from a European research project are trying to develop an organic phosphorus fertilizer out of an unlikely ingredient, pig bones. You can see here food quality pork bones, which are rich in phosphates and other minerals. By burning this material, we can create charcoal that can be used as a phosphate supply in bio farming. Bones are burnt at an average temperature of 600 degrees Celsius in an oxygen free vacuum. No gases are admitted into the atmosphere. The resulting product, known as bone biochar, is rich in minerals and unlike agrochemical fertilizers, it's virtually free of heavy metals, according to the researchers. Seemingly an ideal organic phosphorus fertilizer. These bones have microporous structures. That's really good for microorganisms in the soil, especially the fungus. Fungi can enter and practically use it as a house, where they can live. But where and how are this product's quality and safety analysed? Here, at this laboratory in Budapest, researchers have assessed the product and say it's free from potential contamination sources like heavy metals and certain types of hydrocarbons. Samples of the bone charcoal have also been analysed to identify its inner chemical secrets. And the results are promising. This product can be a good natural supply of phosphates for the agricultural soils in the future, because it contains 30% of phosphate. Apart from the phosphorus, it also has a lot of alkaloids like calcium. The major element in it is calcium phosphate. Researchers are now studying how these contents could be useful for food crops. They've come up with some positive conclusions. Using a high-quality fertilizer from animal bones allows the plants to better resist environmental stresses like droughts. It also helps them to better fight against pathogens. At the end, this is what's going to allow plants to yield better crops. The next step is marketing. At this waste treatment plant near Budapest, 5,000 tons of biocompost are produced every year. Here they believe bone byproducts could make a good natural fertilizer by themselves or as a complement to other fertilizers if the price is right. The real question is competitiveness. Even if scientifically we can prove it has a favorable effect, the question is whether the market will support the additional costs of the biochar mixing. Researchers are optimistic bone-derived organic fertilizers will be a competitive product used on crops in Europe within five years.